top story. Republicans are set to sweep back into power and deliver this country the student-athlete genital check protocols it needs to win the 21st century. But the Democrats keep distracting the public by being the target of assassination attempts. Of course, Republicans are praying for Paul Pelosi and his family and doing everything they can to stop this violence by blaming the left and declaring themselves the victims. People in both parties are, are guilty of uh, uh, intense rhetoric. We had a, a door knocker in Florida that was attacked. A Bernie Sanders supporter shot Steve Scalise. Which the threats on uh, Justice Kavanaugh just started back in the summer of 2020, right? When, when you saw cities burning. Yep. Everything causes everything. That's why I'm calling on the primordial fish that climbed out of the ocean millions of years ago to condemn this violence on both sides of the aisle. And sure, of the 443 people killed at the hands of extremists from 2012 to 2021, 333, or 75%, were killed by right-wing extremists. But I refuse to let Democrats force their 75 is a lot bigger than 25 agenda on me. Now, spawning in our multiplayer showdown is Democratic Senator of New York, Kirsten Gillibrand. Thank you for joining us, Senator. Lovely to be here, Tyler. Thank you. Senator, please say the rhetoric is out of control, whether it's Republicans or baby-eating globalist Democrats who must be stopped by any means necessary. So obviously we've had a rise in anti-Semitism, in bigotry, in racism, and homophobia. Um, a lot of the increase happened under President Trump's watch. Uh, obviously, he didn't create racism and homophobia and anti-Semitism. He but could have he if he wanted. Put, poured fuel on the fire. And uh, President Biden has worked very hard to try to cool tensions, to try to bring this country back together again. He wants to heal the soul of our nation. We're conveniently forgetting that crazed liberals forced Ted Cruz to leave a restaurant mid-meal. Is it not an equivalent form of violence to have to eat a seafood tower from a doggy bag? <laughs> oh yeah, and let's not forget all those people who had to watch him eat it. Exactly. You know, this is just a random act of violence in Nancy Pelosi's crime-ridden San Francisco. And the perpetrator was just saying, where's Nancy? Because he wanted her advice on who to attack randomly. Now let's turn to abortion. Now, Democrats will not drop this abortion issue despite it being settled precedent since back in 2022. Senator, if people vote Democrat, will you codify Roe v. Wade overturning the overwhelming will of six Catholic freaks on the Supreme Court? So this country for 50 years has had the right to privacy. And what this Supreme Court decision did is say that women for 40 years of their reproductive life, which is the time you can have children approximately, that you don't have a right to privacy. And so these red states are trying to enforce it by taking away your right to have a conversation with your mother on Facebook privately Mommy. about your health whether you could receive medicines in the mail, whether a 10-year-old could be taken out of state by her parents because she was raped. All of those decisions and actions are now being upended in these very conservative states under this decision that took away women's right to reproductive freedom. Well, I got to say this. If we don't somehow criminalize women for living their lives, we're telling society it's okay to be one. Well, That's and then a what good happens? Yeah, and Republicans okay. are on the right side of this issue. Nothing says freedom like Dr. Oz having the freedom to control your medical decisions. Absolutely. Absolutely. I and if, I Look, just if you want to have the right to an abortion, only fornicate with Republican politicians who can afford to fly you out of state. Of and course. If I had exactly, it, exactly. And point. Look, the court gave authority to the states, and state politicians are the right people to decide on abortion rights because they're Republicans. Wow. Great to hear from everyone on this important issue. Now, Senator, if certain Republican candidates win their races, you're going to work alongside a bunch of new senators who need you to explain that the majority whip is not a kind of dessert topping. That means it's time to play friend or no friend. We'll say a senator you will soon see around the chamber, and you tell us if you think you can be friends. Ready? Senator, are you ready? I'm ready, yes, I'm ready. Okay, fantastic, let's go. When he's not hosing puppy blood off his shoes, snake oil tycoon Dr. Oz is busy ushering local water commissioners into women's doctor's offices. So, Senator, Dr. Oz, friend or no friend? I can be a friend with any colleague to get things done, regardless of their views, uh, which I do today. All right, we'll keep putting that to the test. Next, 
Love Child of Peter Thiel and a great replacement theory subreddit. This tech innovator from Arizona wants to disrupt the way women die during childbirth in order to serve as Arizona's first extraterrestrial senator. Blake Masters, friend or no friend? <clears throat> so I'm going to be friends with all my colleagues. Huh. Really? Okay. Okay. Wow, OK. All right, well, we'll see if we can get you with this one. When he's not holding a gun to a woman's head or buying her a bus ticket to Planned Parenthood, this Heisman Trophy winner is trying to prove that even people whose brain is one giant bruise can rise to the office of senator. Herschel Walker, friend or no friend? I will work with Herschel Walker. What? Oh, no. oh my wow. god! Jesus Christ! And that's how you play friend <laughs> or no friend, I guess.